my understanding is that Rand Paul dislikes me so much that he got involved with the IRS to make sure that my check wouldn't come fast. And that's a difficult thing to do because you have to go and like make sure that you track down this check. And so um, it actually might have slowed down the process of people getting their checks because of the amount of effort that was put into making sure that I don't get my check. All right, I, I'm, I'm just saying, but then what happened is my mom paid for this stuff. So, um, or she, 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 she gave me a loan of a lot of money because I'm starting a business. Uh, in case you're wondering, D750 with a F 2.8 G. Yeah, um, this camera is pretty serious that I bought. It's gonna be nice. Anyways, uh, sure microphone, really nice microphone. Like I could be a documentary filmmaker now. All right, so um, what I'm actually talking about is whether or not there are Republicans that are for Joe Biden secretly. And, um, but there are Democrats that are for Joe Biden too, because I guess there's the whole sad story. The Illuminati murdered Joe Biden's son. And, um, I've known Joe Biden for a long time and Joe Biden is, is nice. And, um, but here's the thing. Um, just cause someone's nice doesn't mean they're not like the biggest Joe of all time. And, um, our, all Joes, no matter how nice they are, still not nice and nice at the same time. Yes, obviously. I think all people are not nice and nice at the same time. A Joe is like a average Joe. And Joe Biden is an average Joe with an extreme amount of ambition and extreme good looks. And he has a, he, he has, he has tact. He's very, he's very um, tactful in what he does. He's very cautious but he's also big on political maneuvering because um, he will make sure that he gets um, the backing that will make it look like, well, everyone agrees Joe Biden's the best. All right. But the thing is, what's really funny is that amongst the Democrats and the Republicans, um, it, it seems like um, a lot of the Republicans are actually more for Joe Biden than the Democrats. Um, because they're super religious nuts and Joe Biden feigns being religious, right? Where he did at one point and they've known him for a long time. So he does believe in God and they know that. And the last thing they want is someone that doesn't believe in God, especially someone that's going to like, I, I really don't think you understand. Um, when I say that I'm going to have a sex dungeon in the church of Holy Sepulcher and I'm not just like, I'm going to go talk about the dome of the rock where that's my throne bed. That's the place that it's really comfortable to do it. The Church of Holy Sepulchre is where we have Lizzie Grant walk down the Via Della Rosa once a year, and then she goes to the Church of Holy Sepulchre to go, I don't know, it's it's some sort of um, religious ritual in, in Jerusalem in the future. Um, but I guess, theoretically, Miley could have that done to her too, both of them. Um, I don't know, all I'm saying is the reason that the Church of Holy Sepulchre has to have a sex dungeon is because we need to change this religion and um what what like th that religion needs to lose christianity needs to lose islam needs to lose and that's why it's not like i'm going to be in charge no i'm gonna have a sex dungeon there and i i really don't think you understand no matter what you think there will be a day when i have a sex dungeon in the church of holy sepulchre no matter how offensive it is. And it's not about having a sex dungeon, but it is because it's freaking awesome. Cause it's like, no, it doesn't matter how rich you are. You can't do that shit. That's, that's about power. But is that why I'm doing it? Is that why I have to have a throne bed in the dome of the rock? The throne bed is actually about art combined with like a big ass sick throne in that building. And plus it's like a great place to go get freaky, especially because I can say what the hours are and also I can say no one's allowed there this this week or whatever. And I can have parties there. It's sick. I mean, people can sit on my throne bed. I don't care. We'll change the sheets. Anyways, so 
Um, not everyone can sit, oh, sit on it. You have to be worthy. <laughs> you have to prove yourself worthy of being on my throne bed. All right, so um, the throne bed is not about the, th the throne bed. It's about saying, um, can you see it now? This silly idea lost, and the reason it lost is because it's so anti-gay. And it's so anti-woman. But it's not exact. I, I still don't believe that conservative Christianity is anti-woman. I believe that it's, we know what's best for you, woman. That's, that's what real, like, super conservative Christian Christians believe. Like, what's best for you is... To not be a productive, not to be as productive of a member of society as you could be, and I, I do believe that women should be productive members of society. And so, when we say we we're gonna beat this religion, and that's the thing, there's nothing more dangerous I can say than watch me, in my lifetime, watch me beat these religions and change the world. And it's not like a, I'm going to beat Christianity and I'm going to go beat Islam so that I can make people worship me. Because let's face it, who has seen me stupid? Everyone in the freaking world has seen me behave in a stupid way at some point. I think I've embarrassed myself on the internet more than anyone in the world. I can't wait for this camera. You have no idea. This lens I got used to be, I think, the most expensive Nikon lens they had. And I, but everything I got was used. Like everything. It's freaking awesome.